Architectural Visualization from Beginner to Professional. Alright, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you what is your realistic visualization. So, at the first of all, I'm going to start my job with creating camera shots. So, I'm going to click on this place called View Management and click on the Create View in here. So, I'm going to check out my position, something like that, for example, something like this. And I want to turn off the a linked visual preset and rename my cat view name to the a render. So I can add it to my favorite shots and change the XYZ coordinates with my own taste. For example, X is about 26 and the uh, Y is your eye height. So 0 0.76 is good and negative 9.6 is better. So in the pitch option, I'm going to repeat my job about 12 degree. And the yeah is about 48.6 degree in here. So now time for the assign uh, position. So I'm gonna hold shift and right click and change the time of the day something near to the morning, for example, something about 6:30, and hold Ctrl U and I and change the uh time of the day, something like that. It's really good and it can be trustful. Altitude is about 7.8 and the azimuth is about 156.8 in here and I'm going to click on the uh, create in here. After all of these jobs, I'm going to turn on the uh, two-point perspective for myself. Now we have better view of this house. So I'm going to turn on the uh, safe frame and now I want to cover my area but I don't know how. So I'm going to click on the visual setting, move this window to some place like that. So I'm going to start my job with field of view so I can reduce the field of view to reach to the better result. I want to cover this car's back bumper and trees in the back side. So 66 degree is good and I'm going to close it in here. Now we have work in these places. So I'm going to minimize the endscape in here and the sketch up in here. So I'm going to close all of them and I want to look at these big trees in my environment. I can move them. A little bit in front of my camera something like that for example as you can see now we have better view of our job I can rescale these trees in here and move them a little bit back to the car something like that and I can cover the uh, trees body with these big bushes so I'm gonna move it to this place and I can rescale it a little bit you can see the changes in the uh, Enscape preview, but this place is empty at the left side, so I'm going to cover the left side too, but I don't know how, so I can select these three, move it to the back side of this house, something like that, and move it a little bit on the green axis, like this, and I'm going to select these bush in here, rescale it a little bit, and move it in this part of my job. As you can see, we covered the background very simple and easy. Only in a few tips and tricks in here, I can take another copy, rescale it again, something like that. Now it's much better. So everything is good for me. I'm going to press F, render number one in here. So I'm going to close it in this place and render select for me. So I'm going to come back to the Enscape another time. So time for the uh, change in the uh, sky setting. So I'm going to click on the visual setting, the sky box, and turn off the uh, density, variety, size, amount, and count rails of the uh, sky. Now we have some super clear sky in here. So I'm going to click on the output. I can change my resolution to the custom resolution, but right now full HD resolution is acceptable. In the atmosphere, I'm going to turn off the fog in here and reduce the sun brightness a little bit, not too much, or I can increase it. It completely depends on you. 94% is good. Shadow sharpness can be increased a little bit in the exterior render, about 100. You can see the rays in here. It completely depends on you and what you want from this render. But totally I prefer to use some soft shadows, for example 34% is good. And artificial light brightness related to the uh, interior lighting and the spotlights. But we don't have any type of spotlight, so don't touch it. Ambient brightness is not really useful right now, wind is zero. 
in the image bar I'm going to turn on the auto contrast and saturation is something about maybe 101 percent and if I want some cold render I can increase the uh, color temperature to balance my rendering temperature so 10,000 Kelvina is good motion blur is zero bloom is zero and lens flare is not really important because we don't have any sun in front of the camera 34 is acceptable Vignate is 22 and for the final job we have chromatic aberration is zero in the main bar I'm gonna increase the exposure a little bit to the uh, 56 and turn on the auto exposure don't turn it off and if you want some realistic visualization you can turn on the depth of field turn off the auto focus and focus on the uh, place that you want to create it so it completely depends on you I prefer to select these edge and the uh, cars forward bumper 11.78 meter is good and depth of field is 10 so everything is done for me now time for the materializing I'm going to make it minimize the uh, endscape in here and in the SketchUp environment I'm going to select some of these adjustable assets and move them near to the wall in here it really helps me to create some better realistic renders I'm going to cover these edges for my realistic view I can take some multiple copies in this place but not like that because sometimes it's not really work realistic something like this is good I'm going to delete it in here and delete this one in here move another type of a small bush in there and rescale it something like that you can see the changes and the detail are showing themselves much better than the uh, past so now time for the materializing I'm going to turn on the uh, paint bucket in SketchUp and click on the M model so another tool we need is the Enscape material editor I'm going to click on it move it a little bit in this place so I'm going to click on the sample paint and start my job with this dark gray composition on my facade design I'm going to select it and I'm going to recolor it to the uh, light gray something like that and I'm going to play with the uh, roughness I need some a little bit not too much reflection 41% is good Metallica is about 4 and the Spectra is about 61% so next material is the uh, window frames so I'm going to pick them up like that. I can add some white color for them or I can add some type of theme gray to them. If you want some Metallica, you need to decrease the roughness and increase the Metallica. So I'm going to increase the Metallica to create some type of metal, some type of metal material. So 78% is good. Roughness is about 27%. Now we have better view and the next important material is glasses so I'm going to pick up the sample paint pick up one of these glasses another time move them in this place and now I can see the setting in here the main color is the white color so color is good and if you want some more reflection you can decrease the specular in the glass texture some number between 20 to 40 I prefer to use 32 percent and opacity can be increased a little bit not too much for example 10 percent refractive index is zero and frosted glass is not really useful in here for the final job you can change the uh, tint color to the uh, dark or for example some type of colorful render like the uh, orange it completely depends on you Another material I want to change it is these roof woods in here. So I'm going to pick one of them. And if I click on the texture, I can see the texture setting. And if I want to remove this texture and only hold the uh, bitmap and color of it, I can click on these object and delete it. So now I can change the color of it to some type of brown color, something like that, or maybe a little bit darker, something like this and change the roughness of it to create some better reflective and realistic rendering here 46% is good, Metallica is 2 
and expected order for the wood, I think some number about 61 percent. So another material I want to change it related to the uh, these roof tiles in here. I can select it in here and click on these three points in Enscape Material Editor. Click on the uh, Replace with Enscape Material, and now I can click on the uh, Roof option in here and only select one of these textures for my roof. I prefer to use roof tiles number one or shingle number three or two it completely depends on you right now i prefer to use shingle 0 0.2 and click on the uh, replace it takes a little bit of time and after that this process will be done for you very simple and easy you can decrease the uh, roughness in this texture and click on the uh, sample paint in here pick it up this texture and play with it very simple and easy so next material I want to talk about it is the uh, grasses so in the Enscape opposite of the uh, V-Ray or some other softwares grasses is the uh, easiest and smoothest file that we have so I'm gonna pick the glass texture in here and click on the texture of it the size of it is good I can change the rotation to see some type of realistic changes in my world 60 degrees is good and for the final I can decrease the roughness to the zero to see better reflection but the main point about the grasses is the height of them so when I increase the height of them as you can see this surface will come upside and only with the simple textures 64 percent is good and height variation helps you to create some randomatic heights in there 62 percent is good for it and now we have better realistic grass in here if i decrease the image fade my main texture color will be convert to the a white color so i prefer to decrease it a little bit something like that and some number about 81 percent is good so I think everything is done for me in here and I only want to change the uh, main body color. So I'm going to close it in here. I'm going to open the uh, Enscape Material Editor. I'm going to click on the uh, Enscape Material Editor in here. And best material for the uh, exterior design is the uh, plaster. So I'm going to click on the uh, plaster and select plaster number 6 and import selection. It takes a little bit of time and after that selection will be done for you. So now you can see the plaster number 6 in the uh, SketchUp material library. I can select it and add it to my job very simple and easy. As you can see all of the surface is converted to the plaster number 6. And if I click on the Enscape material editor again and pick up the uh, plaster in here, I can adjust the uh, intensity of it. I want to increase the normal intensity to see all the displacements and realities of this texture because this texture is the PBR texture and the uh, physical based material. So I don't want to decrease the uh, roughness because plasters in the exterior design always have some dirt on them. 94 is good and metallica is not useful. Spectral can be decreased to the uh, 31 and I can add some type of a little bit dark tonnage tint color like that and now it's much better so I'm gonna close it in here everything is done for me now I want to adjust my camera this part of it and this part of it so for the final step I'm going to click on this place move it to front of my camera I can see this right now so now we have some simple coordinate I can move it a little bit in this place one place like it, I can see the edge of them near to my camera. Something like this is good, but it's a little bit too high value for it. I want to see some type of smooth coordinate of it, something like that. And I want to click on these bush in there, move it in this place a little bit to the left side, and rescale my job like that. These type of jobs only helps you to create better realistic visualization. And for the final step, I can add one of these 
rescaled bushes near to my camera like that and everything is good for me so i can take another copy in this part of my job and now everything is good so time for the rendering i'm going to move it a little bit in this place i'm going to pick up this tesla pickup in here and move it a little bit on the green axis near to my camera shot and i can select these objects very simple and easy and move them a little bit to the forward for better details so everything is good for me and time for the uh, rendering so i'm gonna play with it because i have some problem with it something like that is good and come back to the enscape main environment click on the visual setting rendering quality is on the ultra mode and i want to increase the depth of field a little bit to create some type of blurness in here some number about 16 percent is good in the image bar i don't have any type of special things to do 7800 kelvin is good but final problem is these type of texture in here i think it's a little bit oversaturated so i can fix it up very simple and easy and these woods in here so i'm going to click on the enscape material editor another time pick the sample paint and i want to decrease the roughness of it to create better reflection in the interior lighting it helps you to improve your rendering shots 21 percent is good and spectra is about 71 percent the final material is the uh, roof side and sailing materials. So I'm gonna pick the uh, sample paint in here. These gold edges in this place. I can add some type of gold tinted color for them, like that. Something like this. Roughness is zero and Metallica is about 88%. Final material is these textures in this place. I can click on it and I can change the uh, main color of it a little bit near to the uh, some place like that. Maybe the uh, roughness 34 is good and everything is done for me. So, time for the rendering. I'm gonna click on the uh, screenshot in here and save it on my desktop for example with any name I want so I'm gonna click on the uh, save and rendering will be a start for me in this tutorial you learn that how you can create some super realistic visualization only with a few tips and tricks and a few steps in Enscape for SketchUp if you like this content please like and subscribe our YouTube channel Thanks for watching, thanks for your support and goodbye.